All right, time for album review. What the fuck? I gotta wash these jeans. Fuck. Um, like I said, album review. Earl sweatshirt. I don't like shit. I don't go outside. Now I seen some interesting about this album. People were saying they were saying like, oh, only introvert people love this album. We all know what introvert is. I don't have to go into that. But I love this album because not just because the introvert, you know or the lack of. I just feel like it, re it reminded me of when I was a teenager. You know what I mean? Like in middle school, and high school. Not that I always stayed in the fucking house, but because I didn't always at the mall, the movie, school, girlfriend house. But out of 100%, I would say, let's say 50-50. 50% I did shit, 50% I stayed in crib. You know what I mean? It wasn't really shit to do like that that was important. So I kind of relate to a lot of the shit he was saying. As far as, I, as soon as I heard Grief, it instantly took me back to that time. You know what I mean? Like, this album is hella personal and it's honest. You know what I mean? Like, from the addiction, from paranoia, the industry, your own, own personal, you know, self doubt, self awareness, things like that. And I thought it was fucking amazing because it's like, my story not similar to Earl because I didn't get sent off nowhere, but a lot of the shit he talk about, you know what I mean, since I heard him rap, it's relatable, you know what I mean? So at the end of the day, I feel this album is dope. I like it, but I know a lot of people, you know what I mean, not gonna like it, you know what I mean? Like depression and a lot of other shit comes with certain shit that you do, you know what I mean? Like the topics of him popping pills and everything like that, which is crazy in a sense, but not really. You know what I mean? Like, it's whatever. But the first track, you know what I mean? I mean, f let's get to the features. You got Dash, Wiki, Nikhil, Ben Staples. Now, I'm going to keep it lit. The only feature that I thought was dope on this shit was Ben Staple. Everybody else, he didn't really need. You know, um, I love Huey. That production was great. I love the Oregon, how he personalized his situation. I love how the beat change up, and it's just the instrumental playing. I thought that shit was ill. And I like his flow in that song and the topics. Mantra. What I got from it is about being famous, the second verse, is either about a chick or the rap game. And the ending was crazy, where he ended that off with, you know, just instruments. That's just phenomenal. Uh, Fawcett, a gloomy type beat. This record was hella personal. He was honest the way he was rapping about certain shit. And his bars are just crazy throughout this whole project. I love that shit. The hook was great, too. Grief, three checks, that shit. Y'all already know. Y'all seen the song review. I ain't got to talk about it. That song is just fucking phenomenal. I be playing that in the wood with my chick. She be like, is that that devil worship kid? And I'm like, well, he ain't really a devil worshiper, but whatever. You know what I mean? I'm like, yeah. You know what I mean? She be like, you definitely could relate to that. I'm like, yeah. I mean, because that's how I used to be like, not introvert, but I really want to do shit. Like, it don't matter where the fuck we go. We go to Vegas. I want to stay in a hotel room. You know, we go to like a suite somewhere. I just want to stay in a room. We go to a mall, just want to sit in a shoe store or a clothes store. So, I mean, I get it, but I'd rather not do shit. If I had a choice not to do shit, I would do it. You know what I mean? But you got to get up, make moves and shit like that. So, this song really is like something I can really relate to. Off top, it was just a minute and 46 seconds, but it was still dope. It kind of sounded like his voice in the background is like Tyler the Creator, but I don't know if that's true. But it was just dope. His wordplay to me was insane on that song. Uh, he was straight to the point. You know what I mean? So... Off top, I look at it just like him saying off the top of the head or just off top, this is how I feel. Grown Ups featuring Dash. I love how the, his verse from Dash transforms, or Earl's verse transforms into Dash, where it seemed like it's one person rapping. I thought that shit was dope. And was personal if you really listen to the lyrics. AM, PM featuring Wiki. That shit was dope. Like, it go from AM, then it slash the PM, where it's just like, wow, listen to that production. So you can tell why he mad that the label did what they did with the album, because he picked you know, himself really into this album. He basically co-signed it. That song get three checks. I thought AM Radio featuring Wiki was phenomenal. Inside is just a minute and 49 seconds. I mean, it was great. I love the mellow beat. He was very honest. I love some of the lines in that song. Um, definitely stood out to me, at least. Um, so Inside definitely was like one of those records where it's like, is he talking about Inside, how he feel, or is it something else? So I like, I love how he rapped on this album. Number nine, I thought it was alright, you know what I mean? Maybe if he didn't have a 
feature and twist the beat up, I would like it more, but it is what it is. Last track, Wolf featuring Ben Staples, they both killed that shit. You know what I'm saying? I love how Earl name drop Hove. I thought that shit was dope. You know what I mean? Overall, they two killed it. They bars was crazy. I give it an eight and a half out of ten. This album, I like fifteen. I mean, my bad. I like nine out of the ten records. Fuck, I'm talking about. <laughs> And production is about 9 out of 10. Definitely a dope record. I like this more than Doris. You know, I will admit that. But a lot of people probably didn't fuck with this record. Probably a lot of people don't like this record. Me, I don't give a shit. Because I like music I relate to. And I've been playing this shit a lot. I play this shit more than Kendrick. I done heard this shit like 10 times already. I bought it off iTunes. I'm going to look for the physical next month. So, yeah, man. Earl Sweatshirt dropped a dope project. Definitely going to be in the top 10 this year. I don't like shit. I don't go outside. That's my motto. I'm out.